just set up the mobile phone so, mobile phone so I can actually see what people are writing and make a sound check. Yep, sound check would be good. I think this is a bit uh, low. has been naughty again so basically uh, I have this weird thing that my recording gets sometimes muted I wonder why, why modern windows have a full control on, on the... Yeah, it's really... Really, really low for some odd reason. I have a mechanical issue. <coughs> ha! Yeah, okay. Let's make a... Now it's, 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 it's basically now on the maximum. Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair. For some reason, it had been turned down. I'm a bit paranoid of missing your messages just because this is like 20 seconds delay. Not not basically not intentional delay but just because uh, this is multi-stream so it's basically prob probably coded bit 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 poorly Actually, see, there's some <laughs> writing on Twitch, but I cannot see what what it is. It is so, yeah. So I'll, I'll I'll need to look at the side screen if if that's done. Anyway, <clears throat> last time, last time, last time, last last time. So did we? Change? Yes, we started recording. Yes. So, last time we were like, found this room with the uh, pictures and there, there's this one guy but others are missing and I believe that we need to find stuff so they come and talk, talk to us So, how have you been? I found the pages and the map chamber. I've been Why would I need the rather block? okay. Just, just a bit tired, but it's vacation what are you up being. To now? I'm up to no good. So, is this in Hogwarts? I think this might be. Or nearby. I mean, without RTX, there's still, still pretty good shaders. Okay, it closed itself. Dungeons. I'm back at Hogwarts. Yep. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. 
I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Revelio. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. So basically... Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid <laughs> ratty school broom. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Never and flown. If you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The <laughs> this is brilliant. Are school property. <sighs> I want them returned in one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Okay. What a view! <laughs> So basi ha! basically, uh, this is rather fun. I I'll get to the places I wouldn't otherwise get with this oh, room. The old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. Like what? But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't probably met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested in a high-flying adventure? <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. 
Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? So you like to be above Let's other people. <laughs> the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. So, uh... Ha -ha! Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. in our brooms. Dismount here. And where have you two been? Uh, get, we got lost. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Hmm. Never, Sorry never about that before. Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. it I have no regrets for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom, then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Then we shall see how much the broom is. But apparently we need to walk to the Hogsmeade. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I'm coming. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. <laughs> I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh, hmm. This might be good. <laughs> this might be really good. Isn't it? Oh, 
My game is still lagging. So, where is the... J. Pippin's potions. First we go to the broom shop. Ah, new face! Wonderful! Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Ah. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes, Got a few please. rare U-weavers available. Ember Dash, Silver Arrows. Wind Wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Huh. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Wind Wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U One's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. So you can you broom with the broom? Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? It's yeah, pretty cheap. Is of the highest quality. <laughs> Saddlebags. That item is of the highest quality. Funny thing that they come with that. That item is of the highest quality. Lamp. Like by bike light, the bicycle. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Speed. Nice doing business with you. Okay, take this to room of requirement. Okay. That, that's legendary. I suppose I shouldn't sell these legendary items just yet. Thanks for stopping by. I, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. 
What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers oh, who think I'm bit. maybe too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatimella Wang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Uh -huh. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Uh-huh. What can I do for you today? So, uh, what was the potions we need? I hope to see you again. So, focus and maximum edorus. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. And I think I had. Oh. Uh, I think I had the third one. I hope to see you again. Well. What can I do for you today? Oh, uh, I don't know what I should be buy buying. Buying. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Are at the Talos flight. Okay. Alright, flying in bad weather might might not be that fun. Considering that you don't have any, any kind of protection from elements in a uh, in a broom. Let's 
get to explore a bit. Rebellion. Cotton West school uniform. Interesting. Still common, but, but it's going to help my poof my stats basically. Okay, so it's going to run out of stamina if I just fly with the afterburner on or something. faster to fly. Thank you enough for all you did to get my carts returned to me. I've been painting and painting. Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. Mandrake. Uh. Okay, he has lots of interesting stuff here. I appreciate here. you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Sure, how I'd fare in a little. Oh, we'll leave that pip in. Always complaining, Madame Luang. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Yeah, apparently Twitch is acting up again. Huh. I guess I'm on my mobile phone actually. Stop the, stop the broadcast. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Uh -huh. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. 
Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a cannot out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Not really. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. By the way, I found this book of potion recipes in Keenbridge. Might it be useful to you? Is this Fatima's recipe book? Oops. You should keep it. She doesn't deserve to have it. <laughs> I appreciate what you're saying, but you have much to learn about respecting the property of others. Some things are sacred amongst potioneers. I shall return it to her immediately. We are still waiting DLC for Quidditch. Hey you, Gryffindor. Hey you. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. Huh. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're Perhaps. not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Made it. Brilliant. Okay, so this up for boosting. I forget can actually control this. Ouch. This will take some getting used to. Three second penalty. Six. 
success. Ah. So wind, wind is picking up. Ah. Of course. Not the best time, but with the penalties, yeah, without the penalties that might be actually pretty good. First time, time flying, uh, this is a bit different. Glad to see I'm still the reigning champion. Still. But what say you? Want to try again? Ready when you are. Success. <laughs> now that's more like it. speed. Slightly over street steering this uh, broom, actually. Made it. And there's a gale here. Even better. Yep, you lose. Oh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. <laughs> oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Yes, I Surely can. My win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see.
But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. Wow. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared.